Isn't it weird how some people who are so talented leave Saturday Night Live and nothing happens? Like there's just nowhere for them to go to channel that kind of funny. It is, there is a thing that I, you know, I think the hardest skill in the world is to have the skill where you succeed at SNL because you need so many different things. Right. And, and sometimes they're, yeah, that's almost like your talent is too big to fit anywhere. Like nine, late nineties. Yes. Chris Kattan was a killing it. Fucking superstar. Oh, when he would do the dancing segment, you know, yeah. where they go to the club to pick up girls. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's physical comedy at its best. He was, uh, yeah, he was unparalleled. Yeah. And I think that there's a couple of people that I don't quite feel like get their due from that time. Uh, and Sherry O'Terry is the other one. Oh, Sherry O'Terry was amazing. And I think people, I don't know why there's this weird blind spot to what they were doing. Because that was a, you know, mid-90s SNL had this really bumpy uh, time. And then... Well, that's only because the critics, I think, yeah. gave it a hard time. I, I don't... Was it ratings-wise, too? I don't know, actually. Again, again, I'm in college at the time, but then right. I remember there was all of a sudden these new people, and, you know, obviously Will Ferrell gets uh, all the credit in the world, as he deserves, right. And, right. Uh, and Molly, I feel like, is, is properly remembered as being great. Molly uh, Shannon. Shannon, well, yeah, that when she would throw her body physically across the room into yeah. a group of chairs. I'm, first of all, I'm surprised she doesn't have, like, major issues with her body in terms of pain. It was, a, I mean, that is really, I think, a gold standard. When we talk about, like, physical comedy, and it was also, like, really well-written. I don't want to just say that it was. But uh, when you look at what Will and Molly and, and Sherry and, and Chris were doing, I mean, that was... It was a, a good group. It was really a fun, fun show. I'm curious as hell to see what Eddie Murphy does when he goes and guest hosts. I know. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I think it's most... I mean, is there, can you remember a time you've been that excited for someone to host? Maybe every time they say, like, Steve Martin will do it. Or, right. But, you know, that hasn't happened in a while. Jim Carrey, I think about, like, seven or eight years ago, came back and hosted. And that was, I mean, for us, that was such a big deal. Because, again, he, I think like he, Eddie, yeah. he was this uh, uh, sketch actor that we all kind of grew up on. But Eddie's going to be amazing. Well, how crazy is it that Jim Carrey auditioned for Saturday Night Live and didn't get in? Didn't get in. I wonder if Lorne kicks himself in the head that he didn't sign like the ones that get away. I think Lauren also likes that that's part of the like mystique of SNL is that sometimes they got it wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that, uh, I just looked, somebody found the sheet of when I auditioned. I think Kevin Hart auditioned the year I auditioned. Oh, really? Isn't that crazy? And he didn't get it. It was Kevin Hart. 